Hello, beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the September 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do, however, recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Uh, but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close the last few weeks or month. Column number two is going to be a general look at what's coming for September. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We'll also do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note for you, Aquarius. But again, col column number one, what's wrapping up and coming to a close? Let's go ahead and get started there. So, we have a summary affirmation card of I feel desired. So, definitely maybe a little bit of love energy going around. Um, I think for some of those, this could be career, but definitely desired, worthy people are seeking you out here, Aquarius is what I'm hearing. So, you're being sought after. Well, let's take a look and see what messages we've got. Okay, first up we have the Emperor. The Emperor is a very long-term card. It's a very strategic card as well. Um, with the Emperor, this is like uh, like future focused. Again, strategic planning, something long term. I feel like, again, you're being sought out for something. They're seeking you out for something. This is also very much so a card of leadership. So maybe you're being sought after for a leadership role. Again, very. I'm feeling like it's love or career driven here. Um, this is also very much so a respect card, so I like to see this. So a lot of respect in this situation. They have a lot of respect for you, Aquarius. The next card we have is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is a card. Um, this is about being very resourceful with the resources you have. So I like to see this. This means you're putting your time, your energy, your money, your thoughts in the right place. Um, could be connected maybe to this um, thing that we're referring to, but could be generally speaking as well. The Queen of Pentacles is also very much so a relationship card. It's very domestic. Um, so again, this could be love or this could be the relationship they're um, seeking to have with you. Again, you're desired, you're sought after for this. This I don't want to say opportunity because that doesn't really make sense in terms of love, but hopefully you're following what I'm saying there, Aquarius. And then at the bottom here, we have the Eight of Cups. I do think you're going to go after this new love or this new career, this thing that you're being sought out for. Uh, with the Eight of Cups, you see the Eight of Cups are stacked nicely here, but yet the person's still walking away. So this is withdrawing, retreating, moving on. So again, don't like to call it maybe opportunity, although I think that's fitting for many of you, uh, but going after that new opportunity. Let's take a look at our clarifiers and see what else we got going on. First up, we have the Nine of Cups. Love the Nine of Cups. This card has a literal meaning of wishes coming true. So this is the relationship you've wanted. This is the career you've wanted. Um, it's interesting. You've been seeking this opportunity, and now this opportunity is seeking you out. So love to see that. Again, I do think for the majority of you, this is career-driven. Ace of Pentacles is going to echo that message. Anytime we have the Ace card, it's a card of newness. So this is new job, raise, promotion, investment, income. Um, and again, this is saying this is a good place to put your time, energy, words, effort. Uh, so really promising opportunity. At the bottom here, we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is a very freeing card. Again, we're freeing ourselves from something previously, moving on to this new, which I love to see. Uh, but there's a lot of power for you in this new situation, opportunity, whatever we want to call it. So really nice last few weeks. Now let's take a look at just general Aquarius, what's coming for uh, the month of September. Having a hard time saying September. I can't believe it's September. Um, but we have a summary affirmation card of I will protect. So with the protect card, um, it's pretty literal. I mean, there is maybe a belief, a passion, a relationship, a thought. 
there's something that you'll kind of have to safeguard that you'll protect or look after, look over. Maybe it's a loved one you're kind of keeping an eye out on. Um, but do a little bit of protection potentially um, in these next few weeks or month. But let's see what cards we've got here. So first up we have the Tower card. The Tower card is a card of unwanted change. Um, we refer to them as Tower Moments. It's just not something we wanted. It didn't play out the way we wanted. I have to times tell people you plan for ABC and DEF ends up happening Aquarius. Um, the nice thing is, is this can be like a course correction card and always make sure you're going where you need to go. But again, it's not necessarily what you had planned. Um, I feel like you're trying to protect your plan or protect the outcome here. The next card that we have is the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is a decision card typically. I will say this feels like a compromise, but I'm not surprised to see this because coming off the Tower card, again, things didn't play out exactly the way we would have liked, the way we would have liked or hoped. So now we do kind of have this situation of compromise, so we're making a decision and maybe neither of the two paths are what we want. But again, I feel like we're protecting the long game. We're protecting the goal here of where you're trying to go. At the bottom, we have the Strength card. This is a card of self-love, self-respect. Um, and I think, again, you can continue to protect. The scenario is different than you anticipated it being, though, Aquarius. Um, the Strength card with the Lion on the card is also a card of courage. So it's like you have to have the courage to move forward from where you're at, not where you thought you would be. Let's take a look at our clarifiers here. First up, we have the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is a card of going through a necessary transition. I hate to say this because the tower is usually something we didn't like. Again, it's unwanted change. It's not what we had planned. But again, it's course correction. It's taking you where you need to be. The Six of Swords is validating that. Again, this is the necessary transition. It's almost like it had to play out that way. It was protecting you from something else. Or again, it was that course correction that was needed, uh, Aquarius. Also, this could be physically moving or relocating with the Six of Swords. The next card that we have is the Empress. The Empress is a card of creation. It's a card of abundance. Um, again, you need to take action from where you're at. You need to create from where you're at. So um, sometimes you have to play the moves where they fall. So um, make decisions based on where you're at and move forward. So thinking about creating what you want. Again, protect the end game, protect the goal here, but start acting accordingly where you are. And at the bottom here, we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is very traditional. It's very conventional. Um, it's a card of conformity. Again, I feel like there's some compromise coming into play. There's some change coming into play. We expected it to go ABC, and it didn't go ABC. It didn't go in the order we thought it would. The steps didn't happen the way we thought they would. Um, so this is just kind of the change, but now needing to conform, adjust, and again, work from where we're at. Okay, now let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to money. We're going to start out with a quick money message here for you, Aquarius. It says, I determine the vibration of the financial abundance I hold. So in this column, we're going to talk about anything related to money, job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, whatever you associate with money. So first up we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a really great card. This is a card of leaving a legacy. This means you're doing the right things, Aquarius. You're setting yourself up well here. Um, so I like that long-term energy. This can also be a card of retirement. Congratulations for those of you that are retiring. This could also be like an inheritance or a lump sum of money. Um, so potentially some big money moves or just really like validation that we're on the right path here. We're doing the right things. The next card that we have is the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is a card. Um, this can be like a rivalry, a challenge, an obstacle. Um, I think there's going to be an unexpected financial thing come up this month. This is what this is coming up as. Of course, we'll confirm. But there will be like an unexpected expense. Luckily, I don't think it's going to derail the ship. It's not going to derail the train. Like you're going to be fine. But I do just think that there's something maybe popping up and that's what this is. At the bottom here, we have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords kind of feels like we're in a low spot. It's interesting because it's quite the opposite. I feel like you're really well positioned here, but you're not feeling it. 
But again, many of you, I think, maybe just made a career switch, so maybe we're going from this low point to a much more stable point. Let's confirm, though. First up, we have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is typically a love card, romantic love, partnership, a proposal, marriage. Um, I want to focus more in on the opportunity, the proposal. So I think that this is, again, this new thing we're referring to, which makes sense. We are kind of in a low spot, but we're in a much better place. Again, this recent move, this recent shift of work was really promising long term for you. So I like to see that, that new opportunity again, being where we need to be long term. The next card that we have is the Lover's card. Interesting, also another love card typically. But the Lover's card can also be a decision. Um, so as this unexpected expense pops up, I'm hearing that there's options. So like, I'm just going to throw an example out. It may or may not be that thing, Aquarius. Again, this is just example sake here. Let's say a hailstorm hits your house and... Of course, when that happens, the roofing companies go crazy, right? Everybody wants to replace your roof. So somebody comes to the door and they're like, okay, it's $10,000. I would keep looking at options because maybe there is a $5,000 option out there. So it's like you have decisions, you have options here in this situation. Yes, there is an unexpected expense, but again, you have alternatives, you have options. At the bottom here, we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a card... Um, of gifts. This is also a card of reflection. Um, I do feel like you're starting to receive the things that you're wanting here, which is good. That's going to take us away from the Ten of Swords. Again, this is also reflecting back to, so I do think we're moving away from this Ten of Swords situation, which is good, but we're kind of reflecting back and maybe realizing just how unhappy it was or how much we struggled or how much we had an issue with a certain person or scenario. So this is, I think, more about the reflection and then moving forward from it, which is great to see. Okay, moving on to our next column now, we're going to talk about anything related to love. So quick love message to start us off. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point in trying to change. That is which, which is beyond our control. So in this column, we're going to talk about anything related to love family, friends, relationship, children, marriage, whatever you associate with love here, Aquarius. Okay, so first up we have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is very active. Um, this is like new project, new creative idea. I do think there's a new relationship here for many of you, which is exciting to see. This could be a love interest. This could be an animal. This could be a new friend. Um, but this is like a new new relationship that we're very actively engaged with. The next card that we have is the Page of Pentacles, or excuse me, the Ace of Pentacles. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. So we talk, talked about this before. This is new job, raise, promotion, investment, income. When I see new money like this, though, in the love column, oftentimes it's like you're moving in together, so maybe taking that next step in a relationship. So it's like going from one income to two incomes. Um, potentially you're getting a new roommate that you're really good friends with. Um, but again, that money is typically money around you. There also could be a family member potentially that's getting some wonderful new money. Um, money in the love column, though, is money surrounding you versus your money, if that makes sense. At the bottom there, we have the Ace of Cups. Again, anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. This is new baby, relationship, proposal, marriage. So definitely new relationship, new baby, new animal, new friend, um, but some new love energy for you. Let's see what else we have in terms of clarifiers. First up, we have the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords can be a very um, curious card. It's interesting because sometimes this can be like a gossip or drama card, but I just feel like you're really interested in this person and they're really interested in you. So again, I think it's going to be very active, very engaging, like you're going to be doing a lot together because you're just so genuinely interested in each other. So that's really neat to see. The next card that we have is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords can be a card of self-imposed restrictions. Um... This is interesting because I feel like I think that you think Aquarius maybe this money will be 
come more to you than it actually does. Again, this is money surrounding you versus coming to you, but it's like I don't see it fully coming to you. So just keep that in mind. I think there's new money in your world somehow with those around you, but I don't know that it'll have a, a significant impact on you is what I'm getting at. And at the bottom here, we have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is a card of keeping and maintaining boundaries. So um, this is always a good time anytime there's a new relationship to set boundaries. Um, the Nine of Wands is also a card of persistence, which is interesting because I just feel like, again, this relationship is very active and very involved and you're very interested in each other. So it's like persistently hanging out, consistently hanging out, spending a lot of time together. Okay, now let's take a look at our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the card, summary affirmation card, I feel open. One of my favorites, um, you have to be open to receive things. So it's interesting, there's such thing as being too open, there's a such thing as being too closed. So this is about being open to the positive, being open to the things that you want. So be open to receiving the things that you want, Aquarius. Feel free to block everything else out. That's what we want to do. But you at least got to be open to the extent where you can receive the things that you want. So let's take a look at our clair of, or excuse me, our cards here. See what we're working with. First up, we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a very um, supportive card. Um, this can be a really empathetic card potentially to... This is interesting. I I feel like this is you potentially on a healing journey here. I think this is about reopening up. Um, that's the message I think I'm getting. I think that's the message I want to give you here, Aquarius. I think this is about you reopening up. This is your, your kind of journey. Um, and there's a lot of empathy here and a lot of learning and a lot of patience. Um, but it's very like tender and genuine. Um, so I think this is you on your journey to getting back to this point that you're opening back up. The Three of Swords is the next card. This is a card of heartbreak, divorce, loss, separation. This is the thing that we're overcoming. With the Three of Swords, it's about pulling the sword from your own heart and doing that healing. So again, this is you on your journey to healing, which is great to see. This is you on your journey of reopening up. At the bottom here, we have the Ten of Cups. If you've watched my readings before, you know I love the Ten of Cups. It's my favorite card in the entire deck. It's everything wonderful. Um, it's total contentment, total love, support, happiness. You have a nice happy couple here. Again, it's everything that you could want. So I like this. This is your journey back to happiness. This is your journey back to contentment. Um, so really neat to see. Let's take a look at our clarifiers. Up first, we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a card of expansion. It's a card of growth. Again, this is you on this journey to reopen, to regrow, to expand. The next card we have is the Ace of Wands. Again, this is reopening ourselves up to something new um, as we go on this healing journey. And at the bottom here, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So Ten of Pentacles on the Ten of Cups. It's nice that we're doing this. This is, again, leaving a legacy. This is setting ourselves up for the future. So we need to do this healing. We need to go on this journey to get back to this place where we're open to receiving. Okay, now at this time, I'm going to give the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use our Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But question number one is the Ten of Clubs. This is the number 35 card. That's going to be a no. Question number two is the Jack of Clubs, the number 45 card. That's going to be a yes. And question number three is the Queen of Spades. This is number 42 card. That's going to be a yes. So no yes, yes there for you. We're also going to pull a card from our Healing Stones deck, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of September. We have Fluorite, which is good for order, structure, helps you say no when needed, gives you nice clarity of thought, and helps with a healthy ego. Last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our Healing Notes deck. Your Healing Note says, healing, might not, healing may not be so much about getting better as it is about letting go of all the expectations, the beliefs, and becoming who you really are. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, subscriptions help me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, if you haven't done so already, uh, oh, excuse me. Also, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Aquarius, and I hope you have a wonderful September.